In this video, I am going to show you how to use PROC GLM. PROC GLM is used to build general linear model. What are general linear model? General linear models are the extension of the linear model in a more generalized form. That means uh, the linear models with multiple dependent variables. Now uh, we might not have seen uh, a model with uh, more than one in a dependent variable but general linear models uh, usually have more than one dependent variables. The PROC GLM uses least square estimation to find out the estimates. Um, using this procedure one can do simple and multiple regression analysis. Uh, one can also do polynomial regression analysis and um, the analysis of variance. So we will take a very simple example here um, to do a polynomial regression analysis uh, but I will be taking only one dependent variable. Uh, we can take multiple uh, dependent variab uh, variables as well. In fact that is the uh, speciality of the general linear model where we will see more than depend, uh, one dependent variable in the model. Um, for this illustration I have taken a data set, uh, name of the data set is mileage um, and then uh, we want to know that uh, at uh, what speed the mileage is maximum uh, for a particular uh, gasoline. Um, so uh, so the uh, idea is to see the relationship between the uh, maximum mileage at um, at what speed at what speed the vehicle has a maximum uh, mileage so uh, for the um, for the uh, gasoline so what we will be doing first is to um, uh, create a plot and see uh, the relationship between mileage and uh, the speed and I have already run it and you can see the plot so what I can observe here is that there seems to be a um, polynomial relationship that means some kind of a non-linearity is there uh, in the relationship. Uh, we cannot fit a straight line to this data. Um, so, so what we have decided is uh, to use a polynomial regression instead of a um, simple linear regression. So for that we will be using PROC GLM. So syntax is like this PROC GLM data uh, input data set uh, in the model statement uh, mileage is the uh, dependent variable and, and MPG is the mileage uh, for gasoline and MPH is the speed. So a speed is the independent variable. So we have taken two uh, independent variable one is speed and the second one is the quadratic component. We have just multiplied speed twice. So it's speed square or MPH square. So that's another variable. Uh, just to uh, ensure that the uh, quadratic relationship between mileage uh, per gasoline and the speed uh, is captured in the model. And then we have used uh, P and CLM which are the keywords uh, to ensure that our output has the predicted values. Uh, of uh, mileage per gasoline or the dependent variable and the confidence limit. So let us run this model. When we run this we will get uh, the results uh, as shown in the screen. Um, we will have the output very similar to what we see in the multiple regression with uh, the model statistics, the sum of square, mean square and the significance level, overall significance level followed by the R square. In this case the R square is 97%. We source that is uh, a pretty good model. And then there are two uh, independent variables. Um, one is speed and the, it's the second one is the quadratic um, quadratic variable which is the uh, square of speed. Both are uh, significant given that the p-value is less than 0.05. Um, so that's how we will be getting uh, uh, the output and uh, another important output that we will be getting is the predicted value and the observed value. 
so that's one way of comparing how accurately the model predicts uh, and and it's very important because uh, this is a quadratic model so uh, that there are chances that uh, uh, the quadratic component is actually not uh, captured uh, properly so it's always important to see the observed and the predicted value and see how close they are maximum uh, proc glm can be used to build uh, a polynomial regression model.